What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. My side of the vlog anyway. Probably way less exciting than Priscilla and Abby and Isaiah's end of it. I'm getting ready for the funeral. Uh, gonna be there about 30, 45 minutes, something like that. We're gonna we're gonna start with the memorial part of it, you know, just kinda hang out, tell stories about grandma, that kind of thing. I have a request for my family and friends that may watch this at some point. My funeral, can you make it as comfortable as possible? Just like wear whatever, you know? Flip flops, shorts, whatever you're feeling. Nice pair of comfy jeans. Nobody likes wearing this stuff. Okay. Hair's done. How do I look? Do I look civilized? Okay. Shoes. Everybody's here. I'm not gonna vlog a funeral, obviously, because that's super sad. That was a nice service. So we just kind of, um, you know, everybody paid their respects and and uh, and talked, told stories about grandma and stuff like that. So that was a pretty cool way to do it. I, I like that. Um, rather than having like any official speakers or anything, um, we're headed to the gravesite now. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys a story that I told because I didn't have a real close relationship with my grandparents. I only saw them a couple times in my adulthood um, we live pretty far away and you know sometimes families just drift apart a little bit aren't super close but they came down to Florida one time my grandma and grandpa did um, they were going down there for a little vacation they traveled a lot and they stopped in for a couple hours at our house and it was the first time they had met my family and they were sitting on the couch we were chatting and Abby was three give or take so first time she ever met grandma at all and it was right after her diagnosis and so, you know, we had a good idea what was going on. Um, and we just started learning like what to expect, that kind of thing. Aggression wasn't something we had faced at all. Um, but my grandma was real wrinkled, you know, and had, you know, older person, loose skin and stuff like that. And it apparently was really interesting to Abby. So she grabs hold of grandma um, by her cheeks on both sides with her hands, just grabs hold of her and wouldn't let go. So grandma very calmly and you know, carefully took her little hands and took them off her cheeks. And so she was a nurse, so she has seen things, and you know, she's she's experienced people with special needs, of course. And you often think think that old people are are uh, are not going to be as accepting or understanding, and I, I find that to be the opposite sometimes. But I said to her, "I'm so sorry. She she's can be a little mean," and she said, "It's okay. I'm meaner." So. It was a good memory that I had. She's very, she, she was, I tell you what, she wouldn't pull any punches if you could help it. Like, she could be a judgmental person if it was something that you could help. But if it's something you couldn't help, she was very understanding, uh, very accepting. So that was my memory. Well, that's done. I'm glad. Probably good for, uh, good for some of my family members to get some closure. You know, the, Thing is, in, up in Maine, when the ground's frozen, they don't bury anybody. They have to wait. So my grandmother passed away on March 1st, and uh, she got buried today, on June 1st. So my aunt said something during the funeral that, that I, I really liked. So my grandmother was born 1923, and she died 2019. So it says, you know, Shirley Moss, 1923-2019. dash And uh, it's the dash that matters, you know? It's that in-between part. That's that's what that's what makes all the difference. That's what it matters how you spend your dash. So she had a good life, and I think that's all we could ever really hope for, right? It's all we could really ever ask for is to have a good life, and, and that's what you need to work towards. So be mindful of the dash. Hey, Lord, so I arrived late, but we've got a heated match of putt putt golf going on. How you doing, Dad? What's your what's your standing so far? I'm probably about either one, number one or number two. Wow, uh, all fair, like no, no, and no cheating. No cheating. Oh, four so. would be opposite. Which hey. four are we? You and I are one and two. Is that what we are? Yeah. On the floor. Yes. One. I think I'm one. I was afraid of that. Okay, I'm taking back the foot thing then. <laughs> So Laura is temporarily in the lead. Oh, and first place, where's Alan at? Because he doesn't look like he's doing great. <laughs> I am, yeah. Okay, I gotta do 
speed golf to catch up and catch up to that group. Caught up to him. Pretty competitive group though. Pretty sure I didn't win. My second cousins, the small ones, they're cutthroat. Um, I'm gonna close out on my end. Uh, turn you guys over back over to the family. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> there you go.